Hello everybody and welcome back to the West Coast. Today we've got loads of stuff to do, so let's get cracking with the spraying. First of all we've got two fills to spray, then we're going to put the sprayer away for another day, and then finally we've got tons of animal work to do. Basically I think the sheep need pretty much everything, and their wool pallet is also full. The notification for that has just disappeared but it was up there a second ago, so that needs to be sold ideally, just really depends on how much money it's worth currently. And then the cows, they need to have at least water and probably some silage, just something to be getting on with before we get the straw for the total mix ration. Uh, it, does, it does even say that they require silage too, so that is easy enough to do. But yeah, first of all, if we can just get these final two fields done, basically just this field here and the very small field across the road there, everything else I've already done off screen. and a couple were done in yesterday's episode. So uh, yeah, we're progressing pretty well with the fertilizing, the spraying, but we are going to have to do some more. So next episode we'll do some more as well and we'll finish off the episode after that, at which point every single field will have been sprayed, meaning they'll be 90% more productive than what they could have been. Some will actually be 100% more productive, just depending on whether they've been ploughed or not. So. Uh, Although this sprayer might not be actually seen in the UK, as somebody pointed out, I don't know if it is or not, it doesn't really bother me, just because it is a decent sprayer, and you, you wouldn't even know really, actually. It might be used in the UK. Who knows? This is the only area where it's a bit troublesome, actually, getting into a space like this. How would you spray in here with such a wide sprayer? It's a good question. Might have to come back to it or leave it. But really, I just want to get most of it done. I don't know what the silage is going to be worth when we come to sell it. Um, as you'll know, we did the silage bales and uh, we are going to sell some of those. But if that is, I don't know, maybe £2,000 a bale, that would be a healthy price. The wool, that again is, well, very expensive so that is worth a small fortune even if we didn't wait until the price was perfect it would still be uh, very welcoming the amount of money there is there but if we can do um, the best thing to do is to wait until we've got we've got a great demand or at least a very high price per 1000 litres of wool the really good thing about the sprayer is it gets everything done so quickly you don't have to hang about doing the same area over and over again. Having said that, I do have to look up from above just to see where I have and haven't been. Otherwise we're going to be overlapping or missing bits. Alright, these poles are pretty close, they're in the way almost, but we can just about manoeuvre around them. Um, I'm going to have to check the map actually just to see if I have missed anything. Possibly around the second pole down there. Uh, oh, I have, I've missed something just around the corner here. So we'll get that done. Now, before we do finish here, let me just check the notification mod once more. We've got the cows requiring water, total mix ration and silage. So it pretty much is just the cows that are requiring things, but I wouldn't have thought the sheep are too far off. It's always a very good habit to get into uh, feeding them and giving them water daily. Because that way we don't have to worry about accidentally forgetting about them and losing either some sheep or some cows or if we were to do pigs, losing some pigs as well. So when we have done whichever field it is over here, field number three, which should take a matter of a minute, I, su I should think, a couple of minutes, um, we'll go straight over to... Yep, I've forgotten the name. How do I do this? Let it'll come to me. River Rock Farm. I think it's River Rock Farm. Let me check. Yellow one. Yes, I got it right. Fantastic. It's a breakthrough, that means that I am starting to get used to these names. Just as we're coming to the end of the series, kind of, we still do have another 10 episodes or so, but we are certainly past halfway. Thoroughly enjoying it though. Um, I don't think it's a series which I'll ever just be able to finish. We'll probably take a break and then come back to it. Just because it's good and we are doing fairly well actually. Better than normal anyway, because I usually fail miserably. So yes, let me just finish here. 
And then it's going to be a case of going to the River Rock Farm and sorting out those sheep. Alright, okay. Wait for it to lower down. It's a bit like a moustache, I suppose. A sprayer with a moustache. I think that's just me being childish. As I mentioned before, um, I do have a plan for Dagarin vlogs in the future, hopefully not too far away. It is still happening, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's going to remain a secret, because if I tell you what it is, it would just break the surprise, really. It would be boring. Hey, I thought we'd gone around once. Clearly not. Keep going. Yeah, it ruined the surprise, so um, I'll keep it a secret. Just stay tuned to it, stay subscribed to Dagarin vlogs, and you'll find out sooner or later what my plan of videos is coming soon we just have the perfect amount of spray chemicals that's very good there we go right let's just check that map again and it should be totally filled it is so now you can really see which fields we do own pretty good although they're all only fertilized once out of three but it's a good start so at least we're actually making an effort to uh, make them more productive. Even just one application of spray chemicals will make a huge difference to the yield we get off them. 30% more. It's pretty good. Right. Oh look, that is in flower now. Won't be too long until we harvest. Let's go. I'm going to put this sprayer over at the top farm here. And then we'll probably drive. I would have thought. Still snowy. I do need to find a way of removing that. Uh, I, I have looked and I couldn't see a way. I did find in the console an option to clear snow but it didn't actually get rid of it so I should think what's happened here is this is just glitched and it's just stayed stuck. Maybe if I was to remove the Seasons mod and then reinstall it, maybe that clear it, I don't know. All I can do is back up the save game and give it a go. Right, here we are at the farm. Is that going to fit under there? Probably not. Oh no, definitely not. The tract which we require is just here, the New Holland, so we'll take that down there. I did take the front loader off, because I was going to try it with the spray yesterday. But that didn't really work, so... Turned out that was a waste of time. I think the greenhouses are okay. The orchard is over there. Well, the three trees. That's all okay too. I'm going to I'm going to change the prices though. I think of those trees. From five thousand. Oh, crikey! I've got the uh, player speed mod on. Very good mod. Let's press zero. There we go. And um, yeah, change the prices from five thousand a tree to probably about three or four hundred because. Three or four hundred is is a good price because if you think about it, these would be uh, potted up trees which would be delivered individually on articulated lorries. So it's not unrealistic to get a tree of this size. You, you can actually buy them. It's just they're not cheap. So three anywhere from three to six hundred pounds, I would say for each tree is perfectly reasonable. Five thousand is a bit steep. So I think I will change the price from that because I do want to extend the orchard and possibly put a hedge around it or something. Yeah, we'll probably put a hedge. And uh, it should look good, hopefully. So that is for another day. Uh, probably about episode 35 or something. Just trying to sort out these crops first of all. And the animals, of course. Oh, it's now flashing up saying the cows need water. So, yeah, they definitely do need stuff. Or oh, was it always saying that? I'm not sure. But the point is, they always need tending to. Is there anything from here we need to take? I don't think there is. Hopefully I left the water bowser down here. If we didn't, then we're going to have to come back for it, which would be a pain. But I can't really see why, with the exception of the greenhouses, I can't really see why I'd take the Bowser away. I probably should check, actually. Okay, just checked, and luckily it is still down at the sheep farm. So we'll just go down here, and it should be a very easy job of topping up their water and giving them a hay bale. Very simple. The cows will be a bit more complicated. Although we can't do the turtle mix ration unless we bought some bales, because at the moment we need to have straw bales and we have none. So I'm waiting for the harvest. The harvest isn't actually too far away, it's about four episodes away. 
So they can wait. As long as they've got their silage and grass and stuff, they'll be happy enough. Here we are at the sheep farm. Luckily, the pallets are allowed to spawn in front of the four pallets, which is very, very handy. Now all I have to do is play the hunting game. We're going to be hunting our front loader. Unusual thing to hunt. Ah, oh, there it is. Good. Yes. It is good that it is not tucked away behind something, because I did actually reset the tractor to get it from here to the front. I probably shouldn't say that. It's just I had to. It's in a big rush. Um, whichever episode I was doing it in, meaning the front loader was just left where it is. I don't make a habit of doing that in the realistic series. It had to be done. So, should we do the wool first? Maybe we shouldn't actually. I'll move the first pallet out of the way and then we'll uh, we'll do the uh, the sheep. Right. So there's only 2% in there, but that's where we'll be taking it down to the sell point, we'll just take it on the trailer and we'll get that sold as well. There we go. So, let me reverse and we'll go all the way back to the back of this shed, we'll get a hay bale, drop it into... Oh actually, that, that doesn't look like it needs it. It might take it anyway, I suppose. Ah, <laughs> totally full. Well, sheep, you are very easy today. Thank you. We'll just give you some water. Cow productivity is low. I'm not surprised. We will be sorting it out today. Don't you worry, notification mod. Good. That was very simple. Very simple indeed. So actually, that is the sheep done. Oh, for crying out loud, the pallet has respawned just here. Now I'm stuck on a pillar. Ah, there we go. That couldn't have gone worse. I forgot, yeah, they, they spawn pretty quickly. Well, I wasn't expecting it to spawn quite so fast. That was rapid. In that case, forget the second one. We'll just take this one on the forks. We'll take the other one later. Providing the price is good. Otherwise, it's pointless. We go across to wool, and oh, for goodness sake, it's terrible. Oh, well. In that case, reluctantly, I'm going to have to put it in a shed. Not what I wanted to do at all. I really did want to sell that. Well, as soon as the price becomes better, we will get it sold, but it won't be today. Very, very sad. I am disappointed. I suppose we could put it straight onto the trailer work nicely, providing we can uh, lift it over the drawbar. There we go. Now, do the cows take hay? I think they do. Yes, they do. But, you can also substitute that with silage, so that's what we'll do there. Power food is nothing we can do at the moment, and grass is sorted, straw is good, water is essential. So actually, if you think about it, we haven't actually uh, neglected them much at all yet. I'm not planning on doing it, it's just usually when I have multiple numbers of uh, animals, so we've got um, sheep and cows, or if we had pigs as well, I would uh, tend to not pay as much attention to each one, each type. But I think so far it's okay. Oh, we have to take the Bowser, don't we? Because at the moment I haven't actually got another source of water. I keep being told to fill it up from the river, so that's what we'll do if we have to, instead of paying for it. Should be enough water, although they are very thirsty beasts, these lovely cows. But there should be a refill point somewhere down the river. Is it a river? I think it is. Somebody told me. Yeah, the river. Good. Right, well off we go. Now it's always very easy to find turning to Mountain View Farm because it is pretty much opposite exactly um, whichever farm it is up here. Little Woolhope I think it is. The opposite um, to the entrance to that is where we need to go to. That's the cement yard just there. So it should just be up here. Looks like we've got a tailgater behind. They really are persistent. Hanging back a bit now. 
Yeah, so just here, we've got up there, Little Bull Hope Farm, and the Dairy Farm is just up here. It is, it's totally opposite. So it's always very easy to find. We might think about getting a flail there or something, getting these ve verges sorted out. I was called them vegetables, I don't know why. <laughs> getting these vegetables sorted out with a flail. That wouldn't be a wise idea. The thing about this map, and pretty much every map, is there's so many fields that I can't really explore every aspect of it. The only other way of doing it would be to own every field from the start, but I know a lot of people hate it when I do that, so I'm never going to do that, unless the map is uh, set up that way anyway. If it's intended for you to own every field from the start, then it doesn't really matter. But if it's a map like this, where you have to buy each field, then we're just going to have to buy them as we can do. But, like I say, the problem with that is you can't really explore everything. We can't buy them all, because it would take, well, I don't know, over a year, I'd have thought, in a Let's Play, to be able to, uh, to buy everything. Especially at this rate. In fact, it would probably be over a year. If we started this map now, um, or when we started the series, and the goal was to play totally fairly, without cheating, and buy everything. We probably wouldn't finish until way after the next farming simulator has been released. And I don't think that is exaggerating. It's about right, really. So, here we are. Where's your water trough? It's somewhere around the side. Over here. Yes, there it is. But we do have to go in there, hopefully they don't escape, for the silage. We'll put it in there somewhere. Just dump it in and hopefully they like it. They should do. We do have silage bales, so if we can do, we can give them one of those. Failing that, we'll just give them uh, the silage in the bottom of the pit. There isn't too much. Alright, there you go. There's your water. That gets rid of one problem. Unless you're going to take it all. No, you're not. Fantastic. So, yeah, it's uh, basically just the silage here and then power food once we have done the harvest. The only ingredient we're lacking, really, is the straw. Because so we have silage bells and everything. I'll put this um, probably in here. Not in the cow shed, just behind in the lean to. Somewhere in there. It's a bit tight, uh, but we should be able to manage it. There we go. Not quite as far in as I would have hoped, but there's nothing we can really do because the gate is in the way. Okay, so did I leave a bucket here? If not, we'll choose the forks to pick up a bale. A bucket. Hmm. Where did I leave the bucket? Actually, yes, we have got the forklift around the back. Why is thinking? There we go. Uh, move the John Deere. Doesn't really need to be here anyway. That can go there. Okay. So, it's a good job I did open these gates up because the forklift is going to have to drive through here. I call it a forklift, but it's basically a multi-purpose tool, since it's got the bucket on the front. Oh no, it has got the forks, but the bucket is somewhere here. Where is the bucket? There it is. It looks better with just the forks, I would say, but I love how multi-purpose it is. It's not really about looks, it's about how practical it is to use. Really, really good. So, if I can just uh, yeah drive through here and grab some silage without hitting a cow, then uh, we'll be doing well. There really isn't much in here, but I would prefer to use this up first before using a bale, because the bales could be sold. 
doesn't have much downforce, which is a slight problem, but not too serious. It might just be the angle I've got it at. Uh, if I just do this, should sort it out. Yep, there we go. Just needs a bit of weight behind it. Perfect for manure though. When you're trying to get the dregs of some silage, then it's a bit tougher for it. There we go, nice full bucket load. I wouldn't have thought they would want any more than this, but we'll have to wait and see. Very mobile. You can really move this thing about. That's what's so nice about it. Yeah, their trough is looking pretty empty. Let's raise it up. Get it into a good tipping position. And somewhere here. I think, yeah, that's working. Can go there. Do they need more? Yes, they do. Two bucket loads exactly. Off we go for the next load. <laughs> oh, that's going to hit. Better lower that down a bit. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a good idea using it with the rest of it. And here is bucket load number two. And there's still some remaining. Impressive. Because this is going to suffice for at least three days and probably more. So we're not even going to have to break into the silage bells for a while. Which is nice to hear. So yeah, let's just get this all tipped. And it should fill the fill gauge bar thing to 100% hopefully. Looking good. Right, didn't take the rest of it. Which means it is full. Fantastic. They should be very happy now. I really do hope they are. As soon as we get some money, if ever, then we'll buy some more cows. But if we can just keep them happy, then at least they can reproduce. And that is essentially a free cow. With the exception of the running costs, which are astronomical. But <laughs> nothing we can really do about that. They should be selling the milk as well. I think the milk sells at midnight on this map. I'm not entirely sure. But I hope it does. I'll park this here. And I think that is actually everything I wanted to do here today. Because everything looks very, very healthy, except for the cleanliness, of course, which is just awful. But, yeah, I suppose, yeah, should have to do in here. I did have uh, table manners on. I might put it back on again because it's a bit of a pain. If the cleanliness was referring to mucking them out, then I would definitely do it. But as it is just a bit of spilt food, it just seems a bit strange. But I've said it before, so yeah, I'm not going to keep saying it. And I've heard other people say it as well. So uh, I think the point has been transferred about the cleanliness possibly being about the wrong thing. It should be about the muck rather than the food. But there we go. doesn't really matter. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.